I was still in this uh, fuzzy logic uh, machine learning tool playing the ECG detection game. So it's working well, it's being tuned up not to make any mistakes. So I'm already laying behind. It did help not to make any assumptions about the global uh, minimum and maximum, but just uh, let the algorithm do its thing. So we will uh, remove, remove that. So just keep those to none and then it's adjusting as it goes. So yeah, the algorithm is now, so the fuzzy logic uh, score is here. So you can compare it to your own. Ooh, made one mistake. So maybe that I didn't notice when did it happen. It's probably happened in the beginning when the thresholds are not quite correct. Okay, it's happening more often now. Okay, so it's not perfect. We don't want it to be perfect. You could uh, use some more tuning. And use more tuning it's making some mistakes i thought it should not make any mistakes it's still much better than than myself yes yeah, so it's it's becoming faster every 50 points that you score you can go play with it i don't know where the false uh, the three false alarms came from that will require some investigation um in the code okay so i'm kind of giving up it's gonna win anyway the machine's gonna <laughs> well, definitely take over tasks like this where you have to blankly uh, look at the um, time series data on the screen and label it and same goes for this is an example for ecg same goes about the uh, eeg that we will do something similar as well with uh, seizure, epileptic seizure detection, which is much, uh, should be much harder than this one. To make this one harder, we could introduce some noise to the, to the waveform. And then, yes, we expect the robot to make more mistakes as well. This is all normal. So I don't know where these three false alarms came from. I hope it was just in the beginning, the theory is, oops, I missed that one. In the beginning, the thresholds would not be set. So the minimum, maxima changing as you get more data coming through. So for example, if all of a sudden you had a larger uh, ECG complex, then it has to readjust its uh, threshold. And yes, uh, while readjusting, it might make some mistakes. That's the theory. It's already got like double, almost double the score of what the high have. So good luck to us all. Just quickly go over the code. Yeah, we're normalizing the array. It was generated at the 300 the DC 300 the, uh, baseline. I don't know why. Have to double check.
and obviously yeah, it doesn't care how the speed on the screen depends on the human score so if you um, good at it, it will uh, become faster and faster I mean the bot doesn't really care it's uh, making the decision uh, immediately and yeah, now it will become even faster as I score higher Okay, so that's the code. So it's a fuzzy, fuzzy logic system. Yeah, we need to update uh, this description at the bottom, which we might get uh, a GPT to do. And I don't know if. Uh, I just go so it has all the code in here. I don't know if I we made some changes to it, but it shouldn't uh, conceptually it's all the same, so the description at the bottom should be the same. Uh, there are a couple of things in the HTML code. There is a description at the bottom of the page. We need to rewrite it. The original description was for the ECG waveform game, uh, but uh, this one including a robot algorithm playing the same game. So you can compare the score. Anyway, you should have all the code. Any chance you can rewrite that uh, description at the bottom of the page, updated. Yep. I turn that off. See what it says. These people don't like the robot voices. It's generating. It's still calling it the waveform analysis challenge. Interactive game, waveform scroll. Unique learning opportunity, yeah, whatever. Yeah, this is not. Are you mentioning the fuzzy logic? I don't think so. Mentioning it once. The challenge also provides a unique learning opportunity by comparing your scores with uh, robot analysis. Okay, that sounds legit. Complexity is the ECG interplay. Interpretation, the robot uses sophisticated fuzzy logical models. Not very sophisticated, but okay. Offering high tech benchmark for your assessment. Uh, okay. Can you rewrite in a less uh, sensation sensational manner? Also, include then uh, actual a separate paragraph uh, of explanation of how the fuzzy logic algorithm is uh, working and how that decision is being made. Maybe something on the fact that uh, the two codes are separated; that the waveform generation is happening in JavaScript, whereas the fuzzy logic is working in Python. So the robot is not uh, doesn't have any extra information. Uh, specifically, doesn't have any labels of the generated waveforms. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Doesn't work. Secure for analysis, interactive skill, blah, blah, blah.
Yeah, we have the game rules. I assume that's the fuzzy logic description. In uh, JavaScript, we still uh, haven't added an option to add noise to the signal. Uh, can we do it now? We would like a controller, a slider on the front uh, page with um, just the uh, minimal noise as default and going up uh, to the maximum amplitude of the signal uh, just a random uh, white noise would be okay Uh, which parts of the code do I need to change? Or do you prefer providing uh, prompts for me to use in uh, GitHub Copilot? Yep. Sometimes the yep even works. So it still has access to the early code. Let's read this aloud. I can't read I still something. have access to the code you provided earlier. To add noise to the ECG signal in your JavaScript code and introduce a slider on the front page to control the noise level, you need to modify both the JavaScript that generates the waveforms and the HTML for the user interface. Yeah, we need obviously modify the HTML. We need some sort of slider. I don't know where we would place it. We'll figure it out in a sec. Add a slider to your HTML page to control the noise level. Place this within the body of your HTML, possibly near the canvas where the ECG waveforms are displayed. There's the canvas. There's a canvas. It's crazy weather. Probably electricity will go out or something. Okay, so we have a slide there. Maximum of one, no, it shouldn't be one. Steps of point one. And uh, default, is this default? Should be say point one, just to make it more interesting. Let's see where the cluster is placed. Yeah, ideally not. Um, control I turn the cluster uh, to be horizontal. On a horizontal cluster, I assume that's correct. We'll just test it in a sec. Okay, now it's Gonski. Don't see it. Where is it? Yeah, there's a crazy thunderstorm. Hmm. 
meant vertical, not horizontal, that's why. Why is it rotating instead of just setting it? GitHub Copilot. Just leave it as is. Just uh, conceptual, isn't it? This slider ranges from O, no noise, to 1, maximum noise. What is that point? Adjust one? the max attribute as per the maximum amplitude of your signal. Yes. That will be like 300 or something. Let's make it one. Get like 100 steps of one. Let's start with five or whatever. But it should be fine. Can just create the waiting function called add noise. Ah, no, in the uh, waveform JS. What did it suggest? That's rubbish. Generating random noise at a certain level. Existing waveform generation logic. Hey, can GitHub Copilot do this? That how we need the whole function. If fix add noise function, probably do some rubbish. Yeah, the T is. Okay, that actually makes more sense. It's definitely better than what we have. Yeah, we're adding random uh, noise at that noise level. Then have generated uh, a full waveform with noise. It's probably the same. We already have that line. Why do we have it six times? I don't know.
Uh, okay, this is not good because this is generating a separate waveform. Instead of Okay, instead of this function, instead of this function, can we have the option to add noise to any of the existing waveforms? How do we change the code to do that? We'll ask uh, um, Copilot as well. I'll just highlight the whole thing. Generate waveform. It's actually uh, well, that's similar because we probably already have that in the code. Yeah, we have a 60-40. I think this means we have a 60-40 ratio between uh, a normal and abnormal. That should be okay. I've added an optional noise level parameter after generating the waveform. It adds noise to the waveform using add noise function. Okay, so add noise function is the same, is it? Then we have a generate. Waveform. Why are those sometimes pretty sure those were clickable? in the past this stuff should be all the same hey or not let's just see which one works which one out of uh, Copilot or HGPT should work. Get this one. The noise level there is zero. Look at that point. Point one just to test. It seems to work. No, it does work. Let's make it the uh, think we made it five, let's make it ten. Yeah, it's some noise level we expect the fuzzy logic algorithm to to not perform well anymore this noise is not quite realistic oh it's a really loud thunderstorm better run and hide It 
to change the game logic. The game logic doesn't currently include the noise slider. Um, how do we load noise slider? JavaScript. We have all this get elements by ID. It's one for the canvas. Mm 